Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a number theory problem. I think this is a number theory problem with a cool little idea that I want to show you. So I invite you to try this problem out for a minimum of five minutes, ideally 15 to 25 minutes, but not more than 45 minutes. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you give it a go for the next five minutes. You know, just like put your first ideas out on paper. What would you do here? And without further ado, let's begin. So if 55 divides x squared plus 3x plus 1, where x is an integer, prove that there exists an integer t such that x is 55 times t plus 6, or x is 55 times t minus 9. So this is very, very, like how, like it's sort of, it's technical in one way. Like, okay, we need to go over all the remainders of x, but wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Are you going to go over all the 55 possible remainders of x squared and then plus 3x plus 1 so that you get that x needs to be congruent to minus 1 or 6 modulo 55? Sure, you can do that. I don't advise you do that. It's a bit... Like it would take... Like here's the thing, you need to sort of figure out how much time that would take you. See, how much time does it take you to figure out what 27 squared plus 3 times 27 plus 1 is going to be congruency modulo 55? It's going to take you, okay, 27 is going to take you a bit less because this is negative 27. Actually, no, 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 this is 26. But then what is this? It seems a bit difficult. But say 19. Though you might know the square of 19, but like, it seems, to me personally, it seems a bit difficult. It seems a bit too much, like even 20, like 400 plus 40, like in it, then you need to figure out so wait, how much will it take you, like multiply that by 55 and you'll get how long it takes you to, roughly to get all of these remainders. And you can write that type of solution down, though mathematics, you know, you want to see if you can do things faster. And there's two things you can do faster. One way is like, if you're still like, really, you want to do these remainders, you can go and say, okay, what is 55? Well, that is what it is going to be 11 times 5. I can go over all the remainders of 5, all the remainders of 11, because this implies that both 5 and 11 divide x squared plus 3x plus 1. I can go over all those remainders, figure out what does that force x to be when divided by 5, like when divided by 11 and 5. So, and then you can figure out, okay, well, if x is both this modulo 11 and this modulo 5, that implies x is this, if this, if that, you know. That's sort of the thing you could do here. However, that is also not the type of thing I would like to do here. I would like us to figure out a different way of solving this problem, a cooler way, in my humble opinion, of solving this problem. Now, the first thing you might notice is we cannot factor this out, right? We can't factor this any way, shape, or form because the discriminant here is going to be, it's negative, right? It's a shame. This is x plus 1 squared plus x. Is there something there? I don't know. I don't, it doesn't really feel like there is much. So this is like, let's write this down, x plus 1 squared plus x. You can do this as x plus 1 times x plus 2 minus 1, right? Because I add a 1, I subtract a 1. Yeah, I think that's right. And then how 55, how do I get 55? It seems difficult. So, but we need to get x is 55 times t minus 9 or plus 6. And here's where I invite you to think, is there anything we can maybe change about like this thing that we're factoring so as to force x to be this. And here's where I invite you, this is the final time I'll invite you to pause for 10 minutes before I give you like the big reveal, the big idea. And here's the next step. So the next step relies on this fact that what do we have? We have 6 and 9. If we were to sort of factor this as 55 divides, it would need to look something along the lines of x minus 6 times x plus 9, right? That's what this thing would need to look like. If we have this, that implies this thing right here, solving it backwards. Do we have this? 
I invite you to pause, you know, another two minutes and figure out if we already have this. And the answer is we do. And we have it because this thing right here is actually equal to x squared minus 3x. Okay, we have, actually no, plus 3x. Okay, so we have the 3x. And then minus 6 times 9, that's going to be minus 54. So we have, we need to get this. From this, we need to get here. How do we get there? Well, we subtract 55 from, subtract 55 here, which we can. If 55 divides A, 55 divides A minus 55. And so from here, we get to here. And from here, we get to this thing right here. And this implies that X is one of these two things. And I want to show you this problem because it's, I like this sort of thing where you're just, you're looking for this, you can go out of backwards, yada yada, but when you have the visibilities, that you think like, oh, I can't possibly factor this. Try seeing if you add something somewhere, if you can maybe factor this using this number, because that is how, if I'm making a problem and I want to hide this fact, I'll just, you know, add this factorization. I will then add 55 and hide it from you and make you go down like this route, like oh, x plus one times x plus two minus one. Oof. Now I need to find all the numbers of the form a times a plus one that are congruent to one modulo 55. Oof. How do I do that? Like I will, like you will go down that wrong path. But if you do this, you don't go down the wrong path. This finishes up our nice little cute little problem. And as always, Thanks for problem solving.